Hello. Uh, for this problem, we've got a 60 kilogram box uh, sitting on a surface. Uh, the coefficient of friction between the surface and the box is 0.62. Um, and we're going to push on this box until it either uh, starts to slide or starts to tip over. Um, <clears throat> the thing we can adjust in this problem is the distance. I can push on the bottom of the box or I can push way up on the top of the box. Uh, and I want to find the maximum value D uh, that's going to let me slide this box before it tips. Uh, rather than if I push it too high, it's going to tip over before the box starts to slide. Um, so, <clears throat> for this, I'm going to need to compare the two scenarios uh, and find the point where it's equally likely to tip over uh, as it is to go ahead and start sliding. Um, so, I've got two conditions. I've got condition one where it slips and condition two where it tips. Uh, and I'm going to find the value D for which the pushing value uh, for both of these is, is the same. If the pushing value is the same, then both of them are equally likely to happen at that value of D. So, I've got my box. Well, I can really just kind of draw this as one diagram. Um, so, I've got my box. And if it's equally likely to slip or tip, uh, I've got a few things happening. Um, first of all, I've got my pushing force. Uh, I've also got my weight force. So the weight, of the, well, the mass is 60 kilograms. Uh, that means the weight in newtons is going to be 9.8 times 60. Uh, it's going to be 588 newtons. Um, and the normal force is going to be acting if it's about to tip, um, which is equally likely to happen with one of these two things. The normal force is going to be all the way over on the corner like this. Um, and I just kind of figure out via deduction if it's not going up or down. Uh, this normal force over here is also 588 newtons. Uh, <clears throat> what I also have down here is the friction force. So if it is about to slip, my friction force um, is simply going to be the static coefficient of friction, mu static, uh, times the normal force. So this down here, the static coefficient of friction was 0 0.62, 0 0.62, times the normal force of 588. Now I also need to figure out some of these distances. Um, so, this distance here, if it was 3 meters wide originally, uh, half the distance is going to be 1.5 meters. Uh, and then this distance here, uh, from this couple, uh, from the ground up here, this is what I'm trying to figure out, this is D. Alright, so I know F push is the same in both of these scenarios. So let's figure out the um, <clears throat> let's figure out what this F push value is, uh, and then we can set it equal in the two different scenarios. So uh, F push uh, for the slipping option uh, is equal and opposite to this. So it's 0.62. times 588. But I also know that these two moments perfectly balance out with one another. Um, so that's F push, uh, which is equal to this number right here. Um, so 0 0.62 times 588, that's the moment caused by this, uh, is going to be equal to, or equal and opposite to the moment caused by the other set of forces. Sorry, this should not be, this should be 0.62 times 588 times the distance for this couple. Uh, so the distance here is going to be D uh, and that's going to be equal to <clears throat> the moment caused by this 
set of forces, the 588 Newton forces there. Um, so that's 588 times the distance of 1.5. So I can solve this equation over here for D. And so D ends up being equal to 588 times 1.5 over 0.62 times 588. Those 588s will cancel each other out. 1.5 over 0.62. Uh, D will give me a final answer of uh, 2.42 uh, and since all of my units were in meters uh, and newtons uh, my final distance will be in meters. So if my pushing force is 2.42 meters up from the ground I'm equally likely to tip or slip. Uh, if I go lower than that value I push lower down on the box it's going to slip if I push higher up on the box, it's going to tip before uh, it starts to slide. Uh, so with that, I've solved my problem. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.